Hello beautiful, strong, happy and healthy people. Today it is a lovely Saturday morning and I have a hangover. Yes, I know. Surprisingly, I usually not one to drink and go out and do that type of stuff. I drank a little bit too much wine last night with my friends. But even though I feel like absolute shit today, on the plus side, I got to do another little test with my CGM. This is day five wearing my continuous blood glucose monitor. And now I got to see what alcohol does to my sugar levels. And I don't know if it was worth it because today, today's not a fun day. When you drink alcohol, two main things happen to your glucose levels. One, you have a little bit of alcohol, has a little bit too much sugar, pushes them right up. Number two, you have a little bit too much, it affects your liver function and it doesn't allow your liver to push out the glucose into your bloodstream like it should and your sugar levels go down. Now that's exactly what happened to me last night and I was pretty surprised that I hit a 3.4. I had no idea that I, I want to say quote unquote normal, I'm not saying a type 1 or type 2 diabetic person is not a normal human, I'm just seeing someone with a normal working pancreas can actually get that low and this is just from a one random night of having a couple glasses of wine, I had three glasses of wine max. Now the interesting thing was I wasn't just having wine, I was having some pretty bad food. I know, this is really good for my biohacking blog to really brag about how healthy I am as a human but we had some chocolate cake and there was some caramel condensed milk stuff just a whole lot of yumminess that should have in theory pushed my insulin up but it actually kept pushing it down now this is why you really don't see an alcoholic that is overweight when you see alcoholics are usually quite skinny and that's probably because their insulin levels are always quite low and this is also why i say when you're type 1 or type 2 diabetic you should really avoid drinking alcohol as much as you physically can because the chance of going into hypers is extremely high and after seeing what someone like me an average healthy human being can do to the blood sugar I really don't think any type 1 diabetic should be risking alcohol. So my sister and my friend Georgia should stop drinking alcohol because it's not really that good for you. Okay, so that's what happens to your blood glucose levels when you drink alcohol. But the new thing I realized, I kind of knew that, that it would decrease. I didn't know it would do that much. But I didn't know what happens the next day. So I ended up calling my sister today and I was like, my blood glucose levels is sitting around a 6. And it's going up really fast whenever I eat anything. I feel like crap. And it's not really going back down whereas I should be trying to aim for, for under a 5.5 and she said that the second day after drinking so the hangover day that her blood glucose levels are always extremely high and hard to get balanced so even for a normal a healthy human being with a working pancreas that you do struggle to keep your blood glucose levels in a normal state so I've been sitting quite high all day which is also add on to the reason why I'm feeling absolutely like crap but every time I do eat something even though I had a salad with sardines and some healthy stuff and a little bit of carbohydrates it just went straight up and I'm really struggling to push it back down so my little takeaway from this that if you are drinking alcohol try and make sure you have a lot of food in your stomach try and consume alcohol with sugary things although it didn't necessarily help me but I hear that Taiwan diabetics should have alcohol with coke if they're gonna have like a rum and coke as, as opposed to rum and diet coke so it doesn't drop as low um, make sure you're staying hydrated and if you are gonna drink have it to a point where you're not necessarily gonna get tipsy have that one glass of wine but if you are gonna drink a bit more just understand that you're gonna suffer some consequences of not just the fact that the next day you're gonna feel absolutely like crap and have a massive hangover and stomach pains and all the lovely nausea that comes with it but you're gonna actually struggle with your sugar levels for at least 24 hours and maybe 48 hours we'll see and uh for what i'm trying to achieve right now my blood sugar levels it's really really not a good start but i'm really happy i'm now aware of what it's actually doing to my body so thank you beautiful people so much for checking out my video this is just a qu quick short rant in front of the camera because I really don't feel like doing much today because I'm really, really hungover. So I do apologize for hanging over Tia. But she was really fun yesterday, I swear. But if you haven't already, subscribe button right there. If you know anything more about this topic, then please let me know to explain why I'm feeling what I'm feeling or what I should have done better so I avoided feeling what I'm feeling. But if you haven't already, subscribe, thumbs up, questions. And uh, I'll see you guys in my next video. So keep being strong, happy, and healthy.